Let's talk about why you need a V-mount battery like this ZG Scene X99 for your photography and video. Check this out. We're gonna go over a handful of topics why this V-mount battery is something that you need. I am so cheap. I have grew up poor, so I've just, I just have this cheap mentality. Every, of course you have to spend the money when you buy your camera, but when it comes to accessories, I try to save as much money as I can. The very first thing that I wanted to talk about is that I have been using this NPF batteries, this Sony type batteries for a lot of my gears. Uh, like my camera, when I'm shooting, I use this and I plug it in. For my Black Magic, I plug this in with the adapter and I plug that in. When the battery is 50%, it dies out. Sometimes when the battery is at 70%, my camera dies out. So I'm carrying with me like six, seven of these batteries and only utilizing half of the battery before it dies out. I kind of got used to it. I'm like, ah, this is cheap. You could get this for like 30 bucks and it's nifty and you know, so let's save money. But in the long run, you're not really saving that much money because with a V-mount battery, they are so sturdy with their power output that when you plug this into your Blackmagic, any camera, you use your camera all the way till the battery dies out. V-mount battery is an industry standard for all videography. Red cameras, Blackmagic, Canon, Nikon, they all love to use V-mount batteries. The power output is the most consistent. It doesn't fluctuate, so everything just powers right. So I got myself a ZG Sin X99. This is a 99 watt V-mount battery. And how you're supposed to use it is, here's one of my favorite camera, a red Komodo. And even though it does take NP style batteries in here, I have a V-mount adapter. They actually call it a V-mount battery because of the back. It has a V-shape to it. When it sticks in, it sticks in very securely, right? You pop in and it's just locked in. So it's very tight to get in there. There it is, okay. <laughs> so, boom, there it is. So you will use something like this adapter right here, ZG Sin D-Tap adapter. You plug it to your D-Tap and there's four outputs and you could get four cables to power everything. Your camera, your monitor, your photo focus motors. It'll also power like this HDMI transmitter just in case your director or client wants to see the same screen that you're seeing so they're not just hovering behind you and you could give them their own monitor. People will rig this V-mount battery up with even a mirrorless camera, making it look professional. You don't want to show up to a gig with this tiny camera and be like, all right guys, I'm ready to shoot a full production video, even though your camera alone can handle it. Appearance is kind of important. You don't want to show up looking very tiny. You want to come showing with a full rig, right? A mat box, and you want to let them know that you mean business. So this thing gets attached here and it gives weight so when you do carry a camera like this, without the battery, all the weight is in the front. The heavy lens, the monitor, it's kind of in the front, but the battery balances out the weight. The heaviness of the battery balances out the weight. So you can handhold it, you could put on a shoulder rig, and it will put an even distributed weight that makes it very comfortable for you to carry your camera. So this X99 from ZG Sin is up to 95 watt power output with a D-Tap and also 12 volt, 8 volt, 4 volt USB-C output. So you can see on the top, all the new cameras out nowadays has the ability to charge your battery at the same time that it runs your camera. So this that means that even though my battery inside this camera will probably last me about an hour and a half nonstop when I'm shooting a wedding, this thing will just last you all day. If you are shooting an event and you just don't have time to change your battery or just don't wanna carry like a bunch of batteries, because of the high capacity power output, it could charge your MacBook. It could charge your iPhone quickly. It could even power up your lights, especially with studio video lights. It takes a lot of power. You can't just put like a small battery like this NP batteries and power that thing. It's not gonna work. You're gonna need the power delivery to light a big light like that. So this is so useful. It also handles fast charging. You could plug in a 65 watt charger like for my MacBook Pro USB-C straight into it and it will charge up your battery quickly. Compared to this, which takes me about half a day to charge and you can't forcefully charge this any faster than what it can handle. So that's awesome. The specific ZG Sin X99 has a screen that tells you just how much percentage of your battery that's left. It tells you what your volt output is. It's like a little mini computer. So as a professional videographer, make sure you get yourself a V-mount battery for all your camera gears. All right, guys, leave me a comment, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.